everybody, welcome back to my zero carb life. You probably recognize my dear friend here, Ashley Stevenson. She was on like a month ago. Yeah, because this ago. is our one month update. Um, the last episode when you were here, we talked about the differences between keto and carnivore and why I do carnivore and you sort of talked about your people. I talked about my people. If y'all haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. Yeah. It was great. Although over 12,000 of you have already seen it. Oh my God. I didn't know it was 12,000. Yeah. Really? Over 12,000. That's awesome. It Yay. is awesome. Um, I also have sort of asked Facebook on the Zero and Yen on Health page. They oh have sent in some questions too. <laughs> I've asked them, what do they want to know? So I have my questions first. I'm really curious. So you were pretty close to carnivore, I think. At least that's what you were thinking last time. You were sort of transitioning, even before we talked. Right. No, absolutely. Okay. I had, um, so back in October of 2019, I had kind of stopped all vegetables, but I was still having stevia. So I was still okay. ingesting plants yeah. in my coffee. Okay. And so I don't count that time in October, November, December as any part of actual carnivore because okay. I still was ingesting a plant matter. And since January 12th, when we sat down, I decided, let's just go ahead and go full carnivore, no plant, no stevia at all. So in your actual diet change, mm -hmm. that would be the main thing. No sweeteners. No sweeteners okay. whatsoever. And then prior to the fall, you did have some plants. You were still eating. You said a very small amount of green beans. Yeah, I had... some low-carb veggies. Yeah, it was okay. very minimal. It wasn't that I would plan my meal around them as a side dish it was mm -hmm. if they were left there or for example before going carnivore if i was making my daughter a peanut butter and jelly sandwich you know sometimes you'll have the leftover peanut butter yes. on the spoon or on the knife i do it it sometimes taunts me it's as right? i mentioned before it like my nemesis you. the smell of it it kills me what you like okay. to smell of peanut butter? <laughs> yes, very I much. do too. Very much. Oh, okay, well then, then this is not weird. Okay, so I have to mentally, like, I have to say it out loud. Don't lick the spoon. Don't lick the spoon. Don't lick the spoon mm -hmm. because I'm almost at that point where you know normally you would, and if you yeah. accidentally get it on your finger, I, I that does not it. wash off. No, I have to immediately <laughs> grab something and like wash hands because it's like it will no. infiltrate my skin. I'm so scared I can't. of it. And so I'm like, how much soap does it take to get peanut butter <laughs> off your finger? Oh, that's so funny. And then my husband looked at me, he's like, what is wrong with you? I was like, there's peanut butter on my hand and I can't, I can't, I can't get it off my hand. I know. It's not that I hate it that much. I just I love really it that much. I really want to eat it. <laughs> it's one of the only things that still tempts me at all. I know. If I had like chocolate syrup on my hands, I would want it off because of, ugh, disgust, right? Yeah, it doesn't smell. No. Mm -mm. I it wouldn't. No. That doesn't get to me, but the peanut butter still does. Right, so we're at like yes. 30, 30 how many days now? 30, well today's the, what day are we? We're 16th. the 16th. Mm -hmm. It's the 34th? 34th day. So have you had, you have had dairy? Yes, dairy. And you have had coffee, but not sweetened? Not sweetened. Okay, salted your meat. I do swap. I do salt meat to taste. Yes. Okay. Nothing forced. No. Eggs. Yes. Okay. I'm just trying to give people an idea of what kind of carnivore we're doing here. This sounds very similar to what I consider. I still eat limited dairy. I still have coffee. I still eat eggs as I want them. I still salt my food as I want them. Mm -hmm. um, but very much meat-based meals. Oh yeah, and um, predominantly, like the main source of the meal is meat. That um, if there's cheese at all, it's just as a topping, yes. or as it's not the main focus of the a meal. Condiment. Correct. Yeah, okay. it's not. It's a binding agent. Thank if anything, you. it's used as duct tape. It's not used for anything else. Okay. Like cheese and bacon are like Cook's duct tape. That's what I think of. So I think you look fabulous, but well, I you. honestly thought you looked fabulous before. What have you, what have you felt? Oh, the number, one of the number one things, it's not on my list of things from Facebook that I got asked. It was an email maybe. Did you have the dreaded carnivore weight gain? There's like this terror no. mentality. No. Most people don't. No. Okay. So what I noticed mm -hmm. as far as gain or loss was that like early in the morning when, if I would weigh myself, that was just an, an indicator of, okay, that's the normal weight that I've been okay. while I've been doing keto. Okay. And then if I would eat more than, I would say if I ate more than two pounds of meat, yes, I would fluctuate up. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to 
I guess course. at least two pounds. <laughs> at least two pounds. It's like if you eat more than two pounds, you basically weigh more than two pounds heavier. Yes. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So it didn't freak me out. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I didn't really fluctuate too much up or down. It was just at the end of the day, if I had had, you know, two pounds or more, I was going to weigh two pounds or more heavier. Yes. And probably go a little longer until you got hungry again, I'm yeah. going to guess. That's how people are like, how much should I eat per day? Like, well, if you, or how many times per day? Well, if you eat one huge meal, it's yeah. probably going to be a while to right. get hungry again. Yeah, we had talked and I said, you know, I, what was it? I think I'd gone like 28 hours or something like that. And it wasn't forced. It was just, I just wasn't hungry. All right, so I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I've stalked Ashley for the past month like a crazy person who should probably be checked out by the FBI at this no. point. <laughs> no, but I've been following Instagram, just curious, like, how's it going? And then one day I saw her, she'd gone like 28 hours. Well, I know some of you fast, and y'all know that I don't, and it kind of made me nervous. So I reached out, I was like, Hey, what's up with the fasting? Not on purpose. There you go. Not on purpose. I just wasn't hungry. And yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to eat when I get hungry. And right. I ate dinner. There you go. So sometimes, well, I thought after last night, I went to Golden Corral. If you're not from the <laughs> South, you may not know. It's a buffet where you can get all the steak you want. You can. And they had prime rib on there last night. And I'm not even joking. It was really good I need to rib. do this. I need to go. Oh, where is really good. Wait a minute. We don't have a Golden Corral. Mooresville. Oh, okay. All right. Mooresville. Well, Our 20 close. minutes. Yep. Yeah. How does that even It's happen? okay. We got a Starbucks, another Starbucks out of it. That's true. I'm fine with it. Yeah, and a K Jewelers, so. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same as all you can eat meat buffet, but no, whatever. Jory, I think every too. kiss begins with bacon. <laughs> I like that. It makes way more sense to me. <laughs> so I killed it at Golden Crab. I posted a picture on Instagram, plate full, and then I thought I wouldn't be hungry again, probably till tonight. Yeah, but you ate I ate lunch because I was hungry. Now I'd already eaten a pound of meat yesterday for lunch. You glutton. <laughs> You and big I couldn't possibly tell you if I've gained or lost weight, but my clothes no. feel the same, and I'm sure I'm she fine. You Still look, about the same? Yeah. Same, the same, exact same. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right. So changes in how you actually feel. Then, how do you do? You feel any different than a month ago? I would say that I feel like I have more clarity and better energy. Mm. Um, before I noticed that the stevia almost gave me a false sense of energy because it was that. It's not going to do an insulin spike because stevia doesn't do that, but it okay. still sends a message to your brain in which you're expecting to do something more physical activity wise yeah. that would create, you know, an urge for glucose. And now that I'm just eating meat and meat products, I did not have that same feeling. Uh, now when I drink coffee, I don't know. I'm just drinking it to enjoy it instead of drinking it to get a treat. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, I agree. I really enjoy more the hotness. In fact, I have before done what they call silver tea, which is literally a mug of hot water. I did that this morning. And it's almost the same I thing. I did it this morning. I was it's like, because really? Vanessa does it. And I'm like, I'm going to try this. Mm. Did you not know that? I don't know. I think we Vanessa. About that, I, Vanessa. I think Vanessa. I think on one Vanessa of her, Spina, ketogenic girl. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She she talked about it on one of her podcasts where she went no. She cut out all coffee and she just did hot water in the morning. And it's kind of a Vanessa. similar thing once you yeah. take out the sweeteners from it. Okay. So Melanie asked about um, mental clarity, and you did feel like uh, yeah, I felt better. Um, I felt like I wasn't craving, and we talked about this in the first video that we did that where if I had more than two packets of stevia in a coffee, mm -hmm. I would want to continue to have, oh, two more packets in the next cup and two more packets in the next cup. So it was like a yeah. compounding, like a building effect of like stevia and stevia and stevia right. to the point of where I would just feel really full and sloshy. I don't know. Uh -huh. do, you, do you understand that feeling whenever you have like way too much liquid and, <laughs> and it doesn't feel yeah. like you're full and you just feel weird? Yeah. yeah. Marcy wants to know if you had any adaptation symptoms. Not really. Okay. Um, I think we talked about it at one point where I had a little bit of trouble sleeping one week, but I was also going through my period that week. So I'm going to chalk it up to that one. Okay. I won't know if that is actually what really happened unless yeah. during this month I have a, a cycle again. Yes. And if I don't have those symptoms, then we can 
we can put that to adaptation. Symptoms. No changes, female cycle wise, though. No, everything's okay. normal. Everything's fine. Um, I did. I, it wasn't painful. I wasn't super yes. crampy. I had no cravings. Um, it was mm. a normal flow for me. But better. But I mean, keto kind of helped heal my cycle to begin with. Yes. I used to have very painful periods, okay. and so I would say that carnivore now has just. It made it even easier okay. because I almost forgot that it was coming on. Like, I got an alert on my phone. Hey, you're, it's supposed to start in a couple days. I have to set an alarm. There are zero physical symptoms. I don't yeah. feel irritated. I, I don't, don't break out. No. Mm -mm, I don't either. Mm -mm. Um, did you have any tough social situations that were any more difficult because of carnivore versus keto? Let's see. During that time, there was the Super Bowl. Yes. That wasn't difficult at all. I um, saw you had a, a bunch of burger patties with cheese, right? Oh, yeah. All the, all the meat. Meat cookies, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm totally fine with you calling the meat cookies. I'm not offended. Um, <clears throat> is there a cookie nation somewhere that we... I don't know. <laughs> no, there are some people who are still very uh, much missing their carbs. That felt like oh. it triggered something with them. Did, have your friends or family given you a hard time making this final step? keto to carnivore no i mean my husband has said that he just loves vegetables too much to um to to stop eating them but um <laughs> sorry my notes just fell <laughs> Of course, they were, being, I they were being held up by sticky notes because I'm out of well, scotch tape. All right, we'll just hold these little yeah. post-it notes. Okay, I like it. So um, your husband, I, I'm going to share a picture from your Instagram of y'all's dinner where yeah, it's almost identical. Yeah, but on his plate there's a vegetable, and on your plate there isn't. That's and it. that's how it kind of goes at my house too. Except mm -hmm. my husband will also have a piece of bread. Shh. I know. Well, he ain't even close. Yours is at least way on the keto train. <laughs> Yes. But mine is sweet, so it's okay. And yours is too, I'm sure. <laughs> we love them, but mine is yeah. definitely going to have the bread. So nobody's been like, no, listen. No. If you cut out vegetables, no. you're going to die. No. No oh. one's been like that. Oh, well, no one, no one, you. That's good. No one has said any of those things to me. Um, but I'm also one of those that if someone does says, you know, does say something that I don't necessarily agree with, I'm very quick to be like, okay. We don't have to talk for a while. I don't really see you being the type of person that people are going to try to push around. I mean, you're very nice, but you do have kind of a, like, stand-up. You know, there's certain types of I'm people assertive. that get bullied. You're not one of those people. Because I did get bullied in high school a lot, and I'm not here for that anymore. No, you don't You don't come across that way. All right, I'm looking at, I've got two pages. In okay. Here. Were there any surprises? Poop is weird. Poop is weird. <laughs> okay, so that that changed in the beginning. I actually got a few messages from <laughs> Ashley in the beginning. Okay, so I did not get, um, if any of you have seen Joe Rogan's, um, his 30 day update when he talks about explosive diarrhea. I did not have explosive diarrhea, let's be clear. Oh, oh hey! And it's not awesome. because, and it's not <laughs> because I'm a Southern Baptist lady who doesn't talk about things. It's because I literally did not have, I, <laughs> oh, what's happening here? <laughs> I've got the vapors. <laughs> Okay. I, I, I'm smelling salts. Oh my god. Peanut butter. No, oh, that's our smelling salt. Yeah, that's right. Um, I did not have that situation. Okay. What I would say was that it wasn't. We could probably insert a, you know, sensitive line here. It was not firm. Okay. It was very easy to go. I okay. would say that. Um, I d I'm going to go ahead and let this out. All right. Okay, I messaged her and I said, farts are not a thing. No. You cannot trust that. You have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Carnivores are not known to be gassy creatures. Without no. the broccoli and all that stuff, there's not a lot of gas. So, I'm we, right now, mm -hmm. are going to say this. If okay. you are starting carnivore, please do not, in a public setting, fart. Don't assume it's going to be gas, because it's probably not. You probably really just need to go to the bath bathroom. And there's nothing that can save you from that moment. You know, people assume when you go carnivore that you are not going to be able to use the... They assume it's going to be constipation and that you could not possibly make a bowel movement without fiber. It's the exact opposite. It's not like that at all. And here's the way I described... I explained it to one person. I said, have you ever done that whole spaghetti test where you throw it up against the wall and a carb wants to stick? And an oil oh. just slides down. Well, when okay. you don't have a carb that's blocking up your intestines and your colon, yeah. everything just wants to come out. 
Yeah. And it will just come out, okay? Right. But it doesn't have to come out forcefully. So my experience was not the Joe Rogan disaster okay. diarrhea, but but everything's it pretty normal now. Everything's all right. Firm. Yeah, everything's okay. fine. I mean, I've gotten fine. used to it now. It's mm -hmm. not like whenever I did a juice cleanse for 21 days and drank nothing but juice. Yes. Horrifying, mm -hmm. and that was terrible. That sounds terrible. That was awful. Never gonna okay. do that again. All right, so meat cleanse does better things for your meat colon. Meat cleanse. Oh, and I have fruit cleanse. Do you I, heard it here first? Oh my god, I have eaten so many new meats that I'm in love with. And so if mm -hmm. someone says I can't eat a restrictive diet like carnivore because, like the what do lack you eat? of variety. Oh there my would be god, no variety. I had no idea there was a lack of animals. <laughs> I had no idea. Your lamb looked good. It did look How good. did the pork belly turn out? Heaven. Mm, I love pork belly. I know, and my husband's like, I don't really know what that is. Isn't it just bacon? But here's the thing, though. The pork belly, it, so Publix is the only place that carried it locally okay. th that I could get it. They had one. And it was like there was these lights beaming down on it for me. Ashley, get the pork that? belly. I don't know. I had okay. to Google it. Okay. Um, and so it comes and it has the skin on it and it had a nipple on it. And I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> no. It did, did have a nipple. <laughs> and so I call my seven year old into the kitchen. She's like, Mom, what are you doing? I was like, this is pork belly. This is like, you know, Charlotte's Web. This is Wilbur's belly. Mom. And she's like, is that a nipple? <laughs> Like, yes, it's oh a real pig. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. And so I had to cut the skin off okay. and then do it in like little chunks. So they were like pork belly bite chunks yes. and they were delicious. They Very were fatty. Oh my God. So flavorful. Amazing. Uh, okay, so did you have on the scale any change scale wise? Any change scale wise? I would say that the first week I immediately dropped five pounds. Okay. And then after that, I just stayed stationary like there was nothing different but i also know after doing keto for seven years that your first 30 days you're still healing yeah so i'm still having to heal my gut from plants like that's gonna take time yeah like that's not something that happens in 30 days that could be six months or it could be a year a lot of people commented when i asked what i should ask you and a lot of people commented to say a lot of the benefits won't be felt in the first 30 days oh, it yeah. needs more time but you know that oh yeah I'm a patient girl. But we're really here to talk to the very beginners. Yeah. So the million dollar question is, where do you go from here? What's your what's your plan? Where do I go from here? Well, I mean, I'm going to continue. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would say that it's so much freeing when you don't have to think about, I have to make this recipe tonight. I have yeah. to go get all these ingredients. Um, it's so much freeing when you think, okay, if, if I know what I need to eat to sustain myself, to be, you know, number one, have enough energy, get through the day, but not get through the day, enjoy your meal. Enjoy I, it. I feel like every single meal that I've had on carnivore, I have enjoyed 100%, whether awesome. it was ribeye, whether it was the short ribs I had oh, for the very good. first time. I've, I've never posted so many pictures up here of I've, food. I've yes. never had short ribs before. Um, I really like I want to try all different types of meat and just experience just different ways to cook them and and taste them my husband didn't want to try the lamb but that's fine I don't know really and he didn't want to try it I think for sheep maybe I don't know they it's, are cute <laughs> I'm I thought it tastes good yeah um I would say that there wasn't as much meat to them next time I'll probably okay. get a larger chop okay um, but these were like three dollars at food line I'm like I'm gonna try meat for three dollars at food line if it's on sale I mean it's not, yes. gonna, it's not going to be wasted. It's yeah. still going to be a nourishment for my body. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep going. I've enjoyed it so far. I don't have any negative side effects. Everything's been positive. Yeah. Um, so, but what do you think the number one benefit? For me, it was the lack of cravings. To me, the difference between very low carb versus carnivore, or carnivore was I felt very full and I didn't crave carbs. Was that a pretty big benefit or what? A, what, what do you feel like? The biggest benefit that I would say, um, I would say it actually is feeling full and feeling mm -hmm. nourished because, um, and this might actually be a comment that I read as well, where someone, they will go through like rabbit starvation, yes. where they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and like they would eat rabbits and there's not enough fat on rabbits. It's just pure protein. It's very lean and they would eat constantly and they were still starving. Right. I'm not starving. I'm eating good quality protein. So if someone is starting on this diet, I think uh -huh. that some of the mistakes you can make at the beginning are not eating quality meats. 
lunch meats and stuff like that. Oh, I see. So you did no. not do like grass fed organic all the time? No. No, once in a while I would get one if they had them that yeah. was on sale, but no. Okay. But I did primarily eat at home. We didn't eat a lot out Okay. out at restaurants. But you weren't just eating bags of pepperoni is what you're saying. It was real no. meat. Real meat. Like fresh meat. Yeah. Yeah, fresh meat. I think that is a big a lot of people do hear carnivore and they're like, sweet, I can eat a box of Slim Jims a day. No. Like you're gonna need to go and get you need some. Now meat. that would cause diarrhea. I would think it would cause something. Um I mean better than donuts perhaps, but go get some real meat. Yes. Co either cook some real meat or let McDonald's cook you up some real meat. Mm -hmm. But real meat. Real meat. Okay. I know we talked about um, like scale victories, like yeah. if it moved or not. Like non-scale victories and like measurement wise, when I sat down here a month ago, I was in a size 10 and now I'm in a size 8 pants. I feel like I'm going to put some pictures up, but <laughs> and I honestly, I had zero, I feel weird even making a positive remark about your body because that's your body and I, I don't know. It just We're feels We're going to talk about that shit. Yeah, like... You look very covered. Good job. <laughs> yeah, but I really do feel like you just look glowy and slim and beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been 30 days. I feel like if you feel anything positive in 30 days, that's yeah. pretty wonderful. I'm good with it. And you're open to continuing it. Yeah, absolutely. Because I know it's only going to get better. I know I'm only going to experience more positive things. And... I'm excited to go eat more meat. There's a restaurant in the mountains I want to go to. Together. I don't know if you've ever been or not, but they serve like all wild game. I really want to go. Like, I've had bison burgers. Preserved. I've had oh. bison before too, but they've got like elk and quail and cool. like a bunch of stuff. I just want to go crazy eating just all kinds of meat. Still not into the raw thing. Oh, no. Still that's not, not for me either. Still not there. I assume somebody commented also um, that it's nice to see people who also have a life doing carnivore because it seems like most of the people doing carnivore that is their entire life. Have you been able to continue going to work throughout this process? <laughs> like, can you hold down a job? Can you oh my God. have a family? Can you okay. go to, can you have a life while you're a carnivore? Yes. I think that there is, um, we do not turn into zombies where we, or, or you know, cannibals where right. we eat the meat or the flesh of our coworkers. <laughs> we, you haven't just started ripping apart animal no flesh, flesh raw? From, no. Okay. Mm -mm. No. Um, no, I've been fine. Okay. It's been one of those things where if I knew I was going to go to a restaurant for a lunch meeting and I just wasn't good feeling about they cooking vegetable yeah. oils, okay. then I would just go ahead and eat before going. Um, yeah. You know, it's... Totally Nobody fine. has freaked out or no. taken great notice. You haven't no. like been demoted from anything. No. Everything seems okay. Not at all. I think there's a lot of fear that this is so it just feels so extreme that like if I were to start my entire life then would change if do I you, became carnivore. No, do you you want to know what I thought was extreme? There were all of these photos of corporate organizations who had for Valentine's Day thought it was an amazing opportunity to go out and get every single little Debbie cake they could find and have it for their for their employees to eat. That's extreme. That's extreme. It is. I mean, that that is, is unacceptable. Such a large portion of our country is taking medication just to be able to eat those things. I know. That's extreme. I know. And um, who was it that said, maybe it was um, Maria Emmerich, the, who, the mm -hmm. carnivore. She said, alcohol is the only drug that I have to explain why I don't have it. You're so right. Like when people look at you like, you're not going to drink. I'm like. Well, I just don't really want to right now. I mean, it's not really going to add value to the yeah. day. I mean, I don't need a downer. Right. I'm, I'm okay. okay. I'm not depressed. That reminds me, I know you grew up Baptist, so you may not want to answer this question. Oh, I'm okay with it. For 30 days, did you partake with alcohol? Um, for the 30 days, actually last night I did. So it's <laughs> outside the 30-day window. And it okay. was because my throat hurt. And it was just fireball. It was just a small shot of fireball just to get the whiskey on. I know people want to know. Yeah. Okay. No. Awesome. No, nothing else, really. Okay. Mm -mm. I, I have heard of carnivores having a drink once in a while. But yeah. But usually it's pretty occasionally and it's nothing sweet. No. Okay. Cool. Hey, let, let's maybe do a six-month update or a one-year update. Or for heaven's sakes, just come over to my house anytime you're we'll lonely. Have meat cookies. Meat cookies. Meat. Okay. 
Thanks, you guys. <laughs> See you next episode. Bye. Bye.